All right, welcome to another video. We are not racing, unfortunately. We're not doing anything really too cool because it is raining out there. But what I want to go ahead and do, because people question, can you daily drive a 1320 in the rain? Because these things from the factory come with drag radials and I do have drag radials. Now I have swapped out my front. So those are Niddle 555 G2. So it's not 100% true stock, but the back is where the traction is. So we're gonna see what it's like driving with drag radials on the back in the rain. First, cold start time. And this time, I'm gonna put the camera under the car. Let's see. Doesn't that sound good? All right, let's back up into the rain. So here we are driving in the rain. It's a pretty good rain. And so far, so good. Not really any issues. And this isn't the first time I drove in the rain. First time is actually a few weeks back. I went to the drag races in Oklahoma and I got caught in a storm on my way up there. So I'm gonna interject a few clips from there because I did have the GoPro with me. And these are some big raindrops too. Holy shnikes. doors are dripping in there. I gotta say it is coming down pretty good and so far I'm not having any issues driving. I took off from that light pretty good. I still took off way faster than pretty much everybody else. Had no slippage or anything at all. Now I didn't gun it. I'm you know, taking it easy and normal but so far so good. And I did not realize how much water drips inside of the actual door panel itself. Look at all that dripping. You can hear it. In the back, dripping. In the front, dripping. It's crazy. Oh crap. Oh man, this is all wet. Crap. I guess that's the reason that the speaker has like a plastic base behind it. <laughs> That must be to uh, protect it from all this water that gets in these doors. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's that? Something down. Oh damn, Corvette down. Oh, I forgot my toll tag, oops. So here we are driving on the freeway and you can absolutely drive a 1320 in the rain on the drag radials. Now, is it fun? No, of course it's not fun because <laughs> these things are torquey. You can lose control pretty easily if you wanted to, but if you're not an idiot, you can keep yourself from losing control. And honestly, who has fun? I mean, some people have fun in the rain. Uh, if you really want to have fun in the rain, get an all-wheel drive car. You don't want something like this for the rain, but the whole thing about you can't daily drive it is, is just not true. And I'll be honest, I feel like half the people that say, oh, you can't daily drive it, you can't drive it in the rain because of drag radios, I bet you half of those people drive to their tires are so bald that they're basically sick themselves. Honestly, how many people out there wait forever to get every little bit of rubber they can get out of tires till they're practically slick, till, heck, even till steel belts are popping out of the rubber. And 
you know those aren't safe, but so many people do it. And then here's the other thing to think about too is with drag radios, I mean, think about this. This is just a 500 horsepower car. I know 485, but close enough. It's not a Hellcat or a Red Eye that's got almost 800 horsepower. Those are no matter what kind of tires you got on back, <laughs> they're breaking loose no matter what. And nobody's talking about you can't daily drive those. You just gotta take it easy. You gotta, you gotta know how to drive for the elements. Yeah, that's all there is to it. And I know part of the question too is hydroplaning, and but no matter what kind of tire you have, you can hydroplane with any tire. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit easier, but honestly, these Nexons, the tread is pretty decent. I mean, it's, I don't know how good a water 40 capabilities it has, but good enough. And I said, that my review here isn't perfect because I do have the middles on the front, so it's not a true drag radios all four corner type of review. But I've already said that if you were to get one of these cars, drag radios on the front is a waste. You are, you are wasting that rubber having them on the front. So you want to replace those anyway like I did. You don't want to keep those on. There's no point to it. Coming down harder, traffic slowing down because we are in Dallas. So those of you from Dallas, people don't know how to drive here. They're all scared. They're scared of the rain. Now I will give them this. The roads here, they aren't built with as big of a crown as some places, meaning it's sumped up in the middle to help with water drainage. The roads out here, I will say, do not drain anywhere near as good as roads I've been on in other parts of the country, like for example, Detroit where I grew up. They may be potholed, they may be horrible, but they do a pretty good job of letting the water run off and drain. Down here in Dallas, no, not at all. It's like I feel in a rain like that, you've got a solid sheet of water, basically. So it's, it's, it is going to be easier hydroplane, I feel, out here. So there's a reason for everybody driving slower, but some people take it to the extreme. We're not even in rush hour traffic. It's 10 a.m., 10.07 a.m. That's how it rolls here in Dallas. Coming down good now. Oh, I can't even see the lanes. Where is the lane? Doesn't help, I'm in a low-ass turkey seat. Oh, now this is a heavy downpour. this video about driving in the rain. I mean, the rain got pretty heavy at times. You could see, I could barely see in front of me. In that situation, you're going so slow anyway, because everybody else around you is going slow that it doesn't matter what kind of tires you all got on all that. Obviously, the, you know, all seasons and all that are better, but it's not like you can't drive on these. And I'll be honest, the level of white knuckledness I guess you want to call it. It wasn't too bad but it was no different than when I was in my Avenger. Or actually it's no different when you're in your Ram. You want to talk about something that it can be dangerous in the rain. Pickup trucks. There's a million millions of them out there. I've driven trucks my life but man they're so light in the back end there. Those things can easily lose traction. Remember sometimes I could barely take off when it was raining in my old Ram. So hopefully that helps quash some of the things people say where no you can't drive a 1320. You can't daily drive it. Yeah you can. Just don't be stupid. That's all there is to it. So hope this video is somewhat informative. Hope you like parts of it. If you did, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.